Yo, hello guys and what's up guys, so today I'm going to do something brand new which is to review, um, uh, probably not to review actually, to teach you or probably to share you my knowledge on to understand a physics uh, particular chapter which is uh, I think the force and motion and I think you guys are familiar with this chapter of course and you guys being exposed since I think form 3 and this is the Newtonian chapter and as you can see this is a new textbook for, uh, of the KSSM uh, syllabus or format so this is I think this is the new textbook by KPM okay so I, I, I have been gone through half of the textbook over here and I will talk about the chapter 1 uh, regarding the uh, what we call the daya dan gerakan or the forces and motion so you can get this digital textbook of pdf version of this textbook on google of course and yeah i will be love be love uncle google you can get anything of a hit over there so let's get started so this is a physics oh my god AJ physics pun salah physics okay physics okay csm so actually what the f what is actually made, meant by the resultant force so force resultant force so actually i don't want to make this video too long probably less than 10 minutes so resultant force uh, is just a total or summation summation of forces so or if you cannot understand this meaning it's just when you plus all the plus all the forces or when you have when you have two or more forces you make it just one single forces like that okay that's the definition probably not the well definition but of uh, at least you guys have the better understanding on the resultant force okay let's see the example okay uh, hmm. of, uh, suppose you have a force vector to the right so I define to the right is positive and to the upwards positive to the left and to the downwards or bottom is negative okay so when you have forces to the right for example f1 equals to 5 newton and to the left, right also f2 10 newton and what is the resultant force of course 15 newton right so okay and i want to add in the definition it has the symbol of so many symbol uh symbol like this this is sigma f we call fr or resultant force or ft total like that so I, I i prefer the sigma f like that it indicates the summation so sigma f is 50 newton to the right and of course don't forget this direction because vec uh, force is vector force is vector quantity okay what if if i add uh, one more vector which is at newton f3 so of course you just add 15 uh, sorry add add to the 15 so the new f is okay 15 newton plus at newton of course you will have 23 right newton okay oh, 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 oh yeah the direction don't forget the direction direction to the right okay and let me copy this a copy let's today uh, let's have a new example okay so the a a a a a Oh, cannot la. Basically, the length of the vector indicates it. The uh, magnitude. So this must be longer than at newton, and this must be 
shorter than at Newton probably like this okay I do mistake just now uh, remember the length of this arrow indicates its magnitude so please remember that okay this is 10 like that and this must be shorter shorter like that uh -huh. what if I add one more forces vector mm -hmm. so for example like that 50 Newton so the this F Sigma F is uh, 8 times 10 times 5 is 23 Newton right and I add 50 Newton to the left which is the new one 23 Newton plus 50 Newton to the left which is negative 50 Newton so this is indicates the direction so 23 minus 15 is 8 positive add to the to the right so what I mean with the single forces vector so you have you can look over here this is one two three four I can transform this into just a single one which is uh, add Newton so this is add uh, apa tuh? add Newton so this is uh, buruknya tulisan so let me shift this over here so this is at Newton so this is F uh, Sigma F new which is this which is positive at Newton to the right okay to the right don't forget this to the right of course you must uh, write in the long uh, long sentence long, long form so with these four forces vectors you can use this single one to represent the summation of the force okay and I think that's pretty much it mm -hmm. and in the next video I think I would like to make the advanced version of the what we call the resultant vector which is which is which is dealing with the x and y axis the combination of x and y axis forces okay the forces present or exist in both uh, axis which is x and y okay and i think that's all and i think this is this video is just seven minutes and yeah press the load and i think that's all thank you and good luck of course <sighs> and